All right, Breaker Bros, we are back with another box opening. Today we're going with 2021-2022 of Panini Elite. I'm torn on this product. Um, sometimes I've seen them and I actually like them. I like the Spellbound, uh, the inserts. I think those are pretty cool. Um, I, there's certain players I want to collect. Um, that is the back part right there, whatever you can catch. Hopefully, if you want to look at it, you can pause it, see if there's anything you actually like on there. Um, but this hobby box here comes with uh, two autographs. I'm starting to get more into the 2021-2022 uh, rookie class. Just learning my way around and, and kind of learning about them. Um, I, now, I now know that uh, there's a, I know a couple names outside of Cade Cunningham. Um, so we're going to see what we pull. <clears throat> Might be good, some cool vet cards, maybe some, uh, some good rookies. Like I said, just it's fun for the channel. I like to rip cards, so this is an awesome rip because of the fact that, hey, you've got eight, eight cards per pack and 20 packs per box. So that's a lot of cards to open. Um, so without further ado, let's see what Elite has in store. This is an interesting hobby box design. I'm not gonna lie. A little weird. But boom. There we go. Let's see what we've got. Now, this isn't a first off the line or anything crazy like that, so there's no guarantees other than the two uh, autos. I actually think this is a really cool design. I think they're much cleaner this year with the without having all those extras. I feel like sometimes they try too hard to make this, like, you know, a top-tier product, and it just comes out looking too messy. This is, like, this is nice, clean. I like it with the, uh, you know, you got the logo on the top. You got the Elite down there. Uh, just a nice-looking card. So, starting with Joel Embiid. Malcolm Brogdon. Spencer Dinwiddie. Oh, what do we got here? And Ask and You Shall Receive. Spellbound, Chris Paul. I don't think that is a numbered. I got an Acora behind it. Nope. But nice card nonetheless. Isaac Acora. Harrison Barnes. Norman Powell. And Jonathan Isaac. So, whoops. I'm going to sleeve this bad boy up here. I think those, like I said, I think those are really cool. I'm a big fan of the spell bounds. Um, I was working on Pat Mahomes and Brady for NFL. All righty. We got Reggie Bullock, Davis Pretens, Theo Maladon, my boy Tyrese Maxey. I do PC him. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's a cool-looking insert. Power formulas. They redid the power formulas for... That's that's sick. I really like that one, actually, the way that came out. DiVincenzo, Paul George, and Markel Fultz. This is really cool. I'm a big collector, so I'm a little bit of a sucker for the inserts. Especially when they're cool looking inserts like this one. This is actually a pretty awesome looking insert. So it's getting sleeved and put in the back. Because I think it's cool looking. We'll put it back here with uh, Trey. Because as always, we have our Trey Young, Kobe White, and our Luca. Pack number three.
So what do you guys think? What do you think of this new class? Rudy Gay. Any guys you think that are going to come out big time like the... It's funny because if I feel like <clears throat> because Panini was so far behind that the cards for the 2020-2021 class were just finishing up. But they're in their second year, so they're really making an impression. Jordan Poole. Thomas Bryant. Dennis Schroeder on the gold. These are kind of cool looking. Reminds me of like a, a wannabe version of the honeycomb from Mosaic, but that's a pretty cool looking card. Josh Richardson, Eric Gordon, Kyle Anderson, and Robert Covington. Really not getting much on the way of rookies in this box so far. Jason Tatum, a little Hallie Burton, Danny Green, Desmond Bain, oh, rookie, blue, jazz, Jared Butler. I'm not as familiar with him, but I will always take a numbered card. And that is 83 out of 99. What a cool looking card. I like these, the numbered cards in these ones. They're a lot nicer than they were the, in the previous years. Like I said, I, I like the design because it's more of like a, just a clean design. So it's not, I don't feel like there's uh, 50 million things getting in the way. Oops. So, I think that's a cool look. I like it. Kendrick Nunn. Zion. What do you think of him? Is is he ever going to come back and make a splash? What's going to happen to him? Speaking of making a splash, Sadiq Bey. Guy's playing out of his mind. Next pack up. I wonder if there's a certain amount of numbered cards you're guaranteed in this. I mean, I know it says find two autographs. Obviously, that's per box on average. You know how Panini works. Kristaps, Przingis, Jimmy Buckets, Malik Beasley. Oh, this is cool. James Harden. That's a really cool acetate. I like that. Let's leave that in a second. Jaron Jackson Jr., Ante Murray, Pascal Siakam, and Pat Williams. Let's leave up both of these, actually. This acetate is pretty cool. I like those when you have those, uh, just the interesting designs. I feel like some of these, these uh, sets that's more so what they're known for, just because they're not as, they're not the high dollar sets. They're not what everybody's collecting because they're trying to make money off of it. They're just the ones that have some really cool looking inserts. I'm a, I collect for the hobby first. You know, don't get me wrong. I'll sell a card here and there, but not too often. I like to collect for my PC. Wish trading would make more of a comeback. That'd be kind of cool. Cameron Payne. DeMar DeRozan, Christian Wood, another gold, hey, Julius Randle. That's going in the PC because I'm a diehard Knicks fan, even though he is a shell of what he was last year. Draymond Green, James Wiseman, Jamal Murray, and Denny Advia. Feels like there's a real shortage of rookies in this box so far. I don't know if they're just saving them or 
you know, but maybe both my autos are going to be, and there's going to be some other number ones. I mean, what's going on here? Lori Marketing. Shout out to Loot Box. Austin Rivers. Darius Baisley. Osman. And Spellbound. Zion. That's kind of cool. Non numbered. Just the base one. But still, Spellbound. I like those. I think they're really cool. Shake Milton. Doug McDermott, and Bogdan. Those are cool. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the Spellbounds. Probably it'd be cool to get the, uh, I, I know that there's the base ones, but then I think there's also like the short print ones, the low number ones kind of cool to get like the Steph Curry low numbered one because even though I'm a Knicks fan I collect Curry because the guy's a monster it's actually one of my favorite shooters to watch the baby-faced assassin MPJ Chris Bouchard oh speak of the devil Steph Curry on the star status it's a really cool looking insult insert insult it's an insult Rui Hachimura Nikola Vucevic, Terry Rozier, and RJ Hampton. It's a pretty cool little Steph Curry there. It's funny because like these, for some reason with Elite, like it's not just a design, it's actually like cut into the card. It's really cool. They do that with the Spellbounds. They seem to do it with a lot of the inserts. Not all of the, the uh, cards do that a lot of them it's like hey here's a cool design for it but it's not actually you know into the card or part of the card which is kind of cool yuda joe ingles hey my boy cole anthony another person i pc and that is dorian finney smith on the gold that young Marvin Bagley, Evan Fournier, and Bo Bowl. I did see uh, someone pulled, I can't remember his name. It's one of the newer Knicks. Uh, he's a rookie this year. Um, he pulled his auto out of 15. I was like, that's ridiculous. Colby White. Mo Bamba, Keldon Johnson, and a D book on the gold. This is just cool. I like him. Kevin Porter Jr., Pam Adebayo, Chris Levert, and Shai Gillis. I will say this, though. The one thing about this product that's uh, becoming disconcerting to me is the lack of rookies that I'm seeing. And I don't know that this is really a, you know, almost $400 box. Moses Brown. Cameron Johnson. DeAndre Ayton. Colin Sexton. It's another acetate. Another one's pretty cool looking. Cal Bridges, Bradley Beal, Darius Garland, and Kelly Olenek. Can't believe that guy still got cards. Can't believe he's still playing, actually. I feel like you, you hear his name every once in a blue moon, and it's like, oh wow, that guy's still in the league? It's like, yeah, oh, okay. Zach Levine. Russell Westbrook, Danilo Gallinari, OG Ananubi. Who do we got here? Oh, hold on. That's our auto. We'll come to that in a minute. Ivy Kazubak, Lugans Dortz, 
Nick Claxton. We're back to Ananubi. Oh, upside down. Who do we got here? PPTMA. Is it Theo Maladon? Nope, Trey Mann. Out of 35. Okay. Rookie Pen Pals out of 35. I'll take it. I don't know how good Trey Mann is, but I'll always take a, a rookie autograph out of 35. Yep, I'll take that any day. <laughs> so not bad for our first auto. Next pack. I don't know how it usually winds up if you get like one rookie auto and the other one's like, you know, some washed up vet. Or if you can get like a cool vet auto, who knows? Sabanis, Ms. Reed, Paul Millsap, we got a gold of the LeBron. This one obviously is getting sleeved. Joe Harris, Bobby Portis, Blake Griffin, and the Joker. That's somebody I'm a, I became a huge fan of was the Joker. At first, I was like, ah, this guy's going to be, you know, flash in the pan. I don't think he's going to be that good for too long. Then I watched his game. And the guy is just unbelievable. I mean, he's a freak. He's a freak of nature what that guy can do. And at his size to be able to do it makes it even crazier. Like, there's absolutely no reason that somebody his size should be able to pull off half the things he can. But... He can. That's what makes him MVP. And I think, uh, I forgot who I was talking to. They said that, you know, he's got a good shot of winning it again this year. And with good cause. I mean, the guy's a monster. He's literally, I've watched him carry his team in games, completely carry his team. I mean, not a question at all. All right. So I guess if the most valuable player is the person who impacts their team's performance the most. I mean, I could see him. I could see you making a case for Ja. His Ja is just playing out of his mind right now. Rudy Gobert. I'm also a huge fan of Ja, though. Marcus Smart. Even after he whooped, I mean, just whooped on my Knicks. Derek White. Andrew Wiggins. Oh, what have we here? Oh, speaking of people who whooped up on my Knicks, there's a Trey Young die cut star status. Does that mean it's numbered? Nope. Just a die cut. That's pretty cool, though. I like that one a little bit better than I like the normal ones. D'Angelo Russell. Daniel Gafford. And Donovan Mitchell. We're getting a lot of cool vet cards, but man, these rookie cards are uh, quite elusive, it seems like. I'm not going to lie. This is probably one of my favorite star status cards this this uh, Trey Young is absolutely probably one of my favorites. And that just looks awesome. What a clean looking card. All right, let's put you back here with Kobe. Next pack. Let's see what we got. CJ McCollum. Seth Curry. Lonzo Ball. Goran Dragic. Oh, that's a purple. That's. Let's see what that is. Whoops. Oh. <laughs> 
There goes the, <laughs> there goes the reveal. SGA on the purple, forty out of forty nine. It's actually a nice hit too. <laughs> Followed up by a Luca, Caponzo, and Trey Young. That's this SGA is sick. So it's the basically it's the same thing as those yellow ones that you see, but <clears throat> the purple's numbered. It's numbered out of forty nine. I'll always take a numbered SGA. What a super, that's a clean looking card too. All right, Elite might be uh, <clears throat> bringing me back to becoming a fan of it. Oh, yeah, way more packs here than I thought. I only had a few left. We have like five packs left, I think. Means there's a chance to hit some other sick color numbers and maybe a nice spellbound numbered. Jared Allen, PJ Washington, John Collins, OB Terrible Toppin, a JT Thor out of $9.99. Super short print. But at least it's a rookie. <laughs> at, least we're, at least we got a rookie. De'Aaron Fox, they do exist. Jared Culver, Fred Van Vliet. Props if when you uh, when I said that you thought immediately of the commercial, the M&M's commercial with Santa Claus, where they meet each other for the first time, and he's like, they do exist. Fantastic. Nice number, JT Thor. So it looks like basically they took a, a uh, standard card and just stamped 941 at a 999. Super short print. Speaking of Hornets, LaMelo, Chuma, Ben Simmons. Dylan Brooks, another spellbound. Oh, I'll take that. Steph Curry. I like that. That's nice. The die cut version. That's really cool. Duncan Robinson. Nikhil Alexander, and Peyton Pritchard. This is a really sick looking curry. I like this. Might have to go ahead and collect this whole uh, spellbound set. So, hey, anybody that's got any more of these, hit me up and let me know. I'd be interested in a trade or something like that. Be kind of cool to collect that, that whole set. We got, what, three packs left? Give me one more super short print and a sick auto. Bojan, Markeith Morris, Jalen Brunson, Tidal Waves, Kawhi. That's actually a really cool one, too. I like that one. I'm telling you, I, Elite, I give Elite credit, man. The, the the insert sets in Elite is really sick. James Harden, Talon Horton Tucker, Royce O'Neal, and Kelly Oubre Jr. Two packs left. Hopefully one of them's got an auto in it for us. It does say on average. All right. We've got R.J. Barrett. Killian Hayes, John Morant, Jalen Brown. Is that, that's our last auto. So we're going to set that there for now. We'll open this pack first. And then we'll get to our auto.
will end on a on a hopefully a high note. Rashawn Holmes, Josh Hart, Isaiah Stewart, Carmelo Anthony. No, they're spellbound. Hey, we're starting the whole Zion. We're we're gonna get the whole name in one one box. Miles Bridges, Kyle Lowry, and Clay Thompson. I wonder, can you get um I wonder if you can get a uh like a spellbound auto. Drew Holiday. I've never I I can't think of one, but hey, you never know. Kawhi. All right, Jalen, who are you covering for? Upside down, who we got here? Who's it? Jack Sigma? <laughs> What? <laughs> Impact impressions. So that's basically what it is. You you get one like pen pals good one. There's Tyler Hero back there, and then you get Jack Sigma. Okay. Not really sure what to say about that, but it's Jack Sigma. So I mean. Sure. All right. Let's go over some of the cool cards we got in here. I actually think this is a pretty good box. I'm not gonna lie. There are some, uh, could have been better, but we've got our SGA at a 49. Our Jared Butler. At a 99. Trey Young, star status. Die cut, sick. LeBron on the gold. LaMelo on the power performers. Uh, <laughs> the impact of Mr. Seattle Supersonics himself. Jack Sigma. Steph Curry on the die cut. Spellbound, super cool. JT Thor on the super short print. And last but not least, Trey Mann on the Pen Pals at a 35. Sick. I like that one a lot. We got some other cool ones in here. You know, you got the Zion, Tidal Waves Kawhi. You got the Colin Sexton. A couple goals here. You got uh, uh, Devin Booker. You got uh, Dorian Finney-Smith. Another Steph Curry. And another Zion. Julius Randle on the gold. So, not too bad. Um, all in all, I'd say it's a pretty good box. I don't mind these. Um, I like these are fun rips for me because there's so many cards to open. So that's the that's half the fun. But let me know what you think. You know, was it a good box? Was it an all right box? Was it a bad box? What do you think of the new uh, rookie class? Any names that you're uh, chasing that nobody else is really paying attention to? And uh, yeah, till next time. Make sure you drop a like, subscribe, throw a comment on there. Make sure. Uh, you're uh, following along. Remember, when we hit the thousand subscribers, we're gonna get the. Uh, I'm gonna give away one of the mosaic hanger boxes. I actually have it on the way, so I will have it here, and I will put it right in the middle so you can see it from now on, so we know what we're searching, what we're uh, going after. So, without further ado, till next time.